This tutorial highlights some new and updated features of D2L Learning Environment 10.5.4 and other D2L products. Brightspace Assignment Grader is now available for Google Android platforms. This feature implements Product Idea Exchange Item D2355. Instructors can now use their Android devices to download, view, and evaluate assignments submitted to Dropboxes in D2L Learning Environment. Instructors can now view start and end date restrictions for assignments in D2L Assignment Grader for iOS. This feature implements Product Idea Exchange Item D2240. From a Dropbox folder Submissions view, tap the Information icon and tap Restrictions to see the Dropbox folder's availability. Users can now filter reports by role in Brightspace Insights. Now when administrators open the Total Logins or the Tool Access Reports, their organization's roles are displayed. Select to include or cancel the selection to exclude a role from the report. Usability improvements have been made to the Brightspace Insights Tool Access Report. The Tool Access Report pie graph now contains tooltips. As you mouse over pie segments, a tooltip displays details about the segment. Report data can be exported to CSV and XLSX formats, and the report's specified date range appears in the title. Instructors can now add a new Student at Risk widget to a home page in D2L Learning Environment. Once a week, D2L Student Success System updates the widget to display up to five students that are at risk. By default, learners' names display as anonymous in the widget to protect the identity of learners when an instructor's home page may be visible to others. Instructors can click Show Names to display learner photos and names in the widget. More quantitative and qualitative details have been added to the Student Success System Student Dashboard. The Student Dashboard now includes an easy-to-understand text-based display of the Success Index. It also includes indicators, which are qualitative statements about the elements that are negatively affecting a student's predicted success. Course Import now has support for long file paths. Importing course packages with long paths no longer causes import errors. Brightspace Pulse has new and updated features. Learners can now filter Brightspace Pulse data by course or activities. Learners can use the activity summary to quickly display or hide an activity type. To access more filtering options, tap Filters. Learners can filter by courses and activity types. They can also use the Show Graded Activities Only filter, which hides any activities with a 0% weighting. Editing dates in Brightspace Pulse has changed. If a date was created in D2L Learning Environment, learners can now only edit the title and grade weight in Brightspace Pulse. D2L Professional Services now provides an array of game-based learning services. The current service offering includes a drag-and-drop form-based content publishing system. It also includes a gamification framework that enables learners to attempt to map activities in an effort to unlock content, earn high scores, and collect achievements. The Microsoft Office 365 integration now supports proxy servers. This allows clients to use proxy servers to take advantage of the Office 365 integration.